All right, y'all, today I'm gonna take you through a little bit of a, of a step-by-step -step on how I got acclimated to MLB The Show 23 is hitting so fast, so quickly, and the fielding mechanics and everything I think about the hitting, pitching, and fielding overall. I'm gonna specifically narrow down on those three fields today in this video. I hope you guys are excited for it. We're gonna do our best to hit baseballs, to mash baseballs, and to do our thing. I'm also gonna discuss the new bat PCI. People have a lot of questions about that, and I'll show you my settings for what I do with uh, that PCI. Let's get into the game. Randy in the tech test. Respectfully. Sir, eat some poopy. I've really been liking CBP at night. It plays <clears throat> the best for me. And honestly, weirdly enough, I've had the best time playing at night games. Feels the smoothest, see the ball the best, hit the ball the furthest. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it otherwise. Now, how did I get used to hitting so fast in this game, in the tech test, which is basically, we assume there's gonna be MLB The Show 23's base hitting. Like, I know it's a stripped down version, so do not go, oh, I don't like tech test. This is what MLB 23 is going to be. No, this is going to be the stripped down version of the new mechanics and features of the game. This is our time now to get used to something. Used to the feeling right there, speaking of which. Um, and that's what this is for. This is, the, this is the test out for bugs, test out for connection issues, and uh, make sure features work, and that's really about it. How did I get used to the fielding thing, first and foremost, as you guys saw right there with the throws? It's rhythmic. Everything in MLB The Show, mechanic-wise, to me, seems rhythmic. Hitting seems rhythmic. Pitching pinpoint is definitely rhythmic. And fielding is now rhythmic, too, as um, the meter loads up at about the same rate the ball is getting to you, if that makes sense. So you just follow that path. If the ball's in the gap it just and it's speeding at you, your meter's not gonna be as slow. If it's a high little pop-up fly ball, it's gonna be a little bit slower. Stuff like that. Pitch, pinpoint is rhythmic, hitting is rhythmic. Um, that's just kind of what I've noticed. And uh, it's almost like riding a bike. Once you get it down once, you know it forever, you'll never forget it. Um, just, just my experience with it, right? It's not really, I'm not trying to really downplay it. So if you're not getting it, I don't want to make you feel like you're bad at the game or anything like that. But I think, as was me with Pinpoint in the beginning of last year, I overthought it and uh, thought I thought it was trash. I waited a week or two to switch to it, maybe a few weeks actually. I was still on analog dominating, but I was still in the in the camp of oh, it's not that great, blah blah blah. It's 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 plunky, uh, and then it's because I was overthinking it. The minute I, I stopped overthinking it and just did it without really thinking it took me three conquest games to get it down and i went right into a right game and ended up winning did i pitch great no but i won like 10 to 2 so it's fine there we go baby boy max oh let's let's talk hitting right now let's talk hitting right now i have the bat pci on yes is this something i'm gonna be rocking with for all of 23 i'm not sure i usually like no pci these days what are my settings I have it on bat, 60% transparency. I actually drop it out of 40. Uh, it hasn't really stuck, but bat center only. Cyan is the color, 40% transparency. Uh, I like to not really see it. My thoughts on the PCI. The less distracting, the better, right? The less you're looking at it, the better you're gonna be doing. Do I wish the dot was a little less serious? Yeah, for sure, but it's fine. I like the idea that it moves depending on, you know, the, the bat plane moves depending on where you are in the zone with it, which is fun. What to expect with hitting in 23? If this is the final product we have for hitting in 23, I'd be happy with it. So happy with it. What's the key? Well, understanding you're going to strike out more. It's going to happen, especially against guys like Randy Johnson. to see a Ricky Pim job. Oh, fire me up, Ricky. How did I do that? What the hell? Um, obviously, good reaction time, but I was expecting that pitch there. Understand you're going to strike out more and really, really, really focus on kind of keeping your PCI in a general region this year and not slamming it. Slamming is not going to work that well this year, guys. Right? They said it in the gameplay feature, talking about hitting. The most important thing in hitting is timing. And then after that, the other things follow. PCI placement, and then launch angle, and then type of pitch that's thrown, and all that stuff. That pitch was disgusting. That looked like a fastball. I thought it was going to be a fastball out of the corner. And I smashed I mashed to it, and look what happened. This is what I get. But 
I struck out there. It's going to happen. I've been terrible with Brian Reynolds in this tech test. I don't know why, but Mike Piazza has been incredible while working Henderson. Another bomb. Hitting feels so good. You feel so much better when you do the damn thing, when you actually square the ball, you feel like you did it. And the feedback is much more logical, right? I know where to trace if things go wrong. I checked the pitch that was thrown. I checked my timing. I checked the launch angle. I checked my PCI placement. It all is much more intuitive. Next up on the list, things that I like, I like to use when hitting in, in this tech test. I like the the bat PC, or the PCI anchor set to free. You can now lock it anywhere in the zone, as opposed to the typical nine little dots that you had before. The top three, middle three, bottom three. You can kind of do it anywhere, which I like. Oh, I've been kind of cheats with Babe Ruth too, but see. So the swings that weren't good, weren't good. The swings that were, were good. Thank God they put Sig Randy in this and not the perfect game, Randy. That would have made it a lot less fun. The righties are teeing off, except for Brian Reynolds, on Randy Johnson. But as you guys can see, what am I doing? I'm keeping my PCI in a general region and not deviating and not having to feel like I, I should swing at every single pitch. I wasn't ready for that. I don't want that. He has 125 clutch, but only 100 contact for his lefties. This guy will be very solid this year if we get this card again, because all of a sudden he's God versus righties and lefties if there's a guy on second or third base, which is how it should be. He's an RBI machine. If no one could steal, I would, I would steal with him. I like the way that clutch is taking over. Oh, I topped it. Look how big my PCI was there. He must've messed up that. I've noticed some things. I think if a ball is thrown in a spot it shouldn't be, like a high slider or a changeup, or if they mess up the pinpoint, your PCI gets way bigger. I've noticed that. Um, I have a couple clips of me hitting a home run. I hit a home run on a slider up in the zone, and my PCI, this is from yesterday's stream, my PCI was huge, and I it was a lower contact guy, and I think it had everything to do with the fact the guy threw a bad pitch. Oh, messed up the field or anything there. Um, I've noticed a lot of deep flyouts to the outfield this year. Uh, people's clips that hasn't really happened too much to me. He was just early there So that's okay, but I've seen some perfect style at the wall. It's a mixture of two things pro parks being dead still they got to work on elevation being too impactful and um, It seems to be a lot of the times with low and away pitches or just low pitches in general when You had a perfect deep in the outfield. It dies even with guys with 100 plus power um, I can understand if it's out of the zone because they're definitely they're definitely punishing people this year for swinging out of the zone. Even if you make solid contact, your PCI is way smaller and the exit below seems to be down, which I like across the board. So all that information that I've given you guys in the first couple innings together, what does that mean? Basically, got it. Barely got it, but I got it. It's all rhythmic, baby. That ball was slower. I had to go get to it. That's why the meter took longer to get there. But what does that mean? All the information I've given you guys so far, you know, punishing for swinging out of the zone. It's hard to make contact, blah, blah, blah really focus up on a pitch but specifically not really a pitch but on an area of the zone you're looking for early in the count then then it gets middle of the count later in the count don't really focus so much on an area of the zone but a certain pitch because you could really just by product of or um yeah process of elimination figure out what you're going to get so if you're facing randy johnson you know at some point you're going to see a fastball and if you're not great at hitting the fastball or you just not getting as much that game, what are you going to get next? A slider. Focus on that. That's it's really hard. about process of elimination if you're really struggling. And against guys like Randy, high K per nine, high strikeout rates, what do you want to do? Really zone in on a pitch, hit mistakes, and don't really worry about striking out. Specifically going back to 20 and 21, because those were the, those are the, the two titles before that that were on the similar engine. I think it really skewed our idea of what a good swing actually is. I think we saw good, the simplified good in the feedback system and just went, oh, it's a good swing, should be hit. Even though it was like a sinker on your hands and you were late side of good and you like hit a weak line at the right center, which is what should happen. Good pitch, wow, that blew me away. All that stuff together is why we have a skewed idea of what a good swing is. You should look, you should know what a good swing is before the feedback pops up, right? You shouldn't have to check the feedback to know it was a good swing. Sometimes you're gonna think you had a good swing and then you're gonna realize your PCI was off, that's different. I'm talking specifically like if you get a fastball on your hands and you turn on it and you smash it with good timing, you should know it's a good swing without having to look at the feedback. So people were relying too much on, on the feedback that was broken as admitted from this from SDS to tell them what a good swing was. They admitted that their feedback was not was counterintuitive. It was confusing. It, it, it wasn't very detailed and things have gotten only better in, in 23 with this more detailed feedback and they've cut a lot of fluff out the game. Yeah. Right back, Jeremy. Let's go, baby. I love the DH. 
That's a that's a pretty good swing, but I'm early. I'm early on it. It went all the way to the wall. See, those kind of swings, we're going to start seeing them leave, guys, when we start playing the actual game. When we're playing at Ship It or Laughing Mountain or something like that with higher elevation, these are going to go. If I was someone with more power or if that pitcher is more elevated in the zone, that probably leaves. Or if I was at a different part. But that outcome makes total sense to me. Also, another instance why um, clutch is interesting. Ricky actually has lower clutch than contact versus lefties. So in that situation where I've got uh, pain is on first with two outs, that's a good situation to steal. He's a 99 speed guy, good steal writing. I don't want to steal there. In this, in this, the way this game works now where hits actually get down and fielders aren't OP and throwing is a little harder. I'd rather take my chance with Ricky's higher contact, dumping one in the outfield and letting Pena run from first all the way around. I just barely got that too. I'm getting there though. So I'd rather take my chances with Ricky getting a better chance to get a hit, dumping one in the gap and having him run to third base because he'll probably get a triple, but Pena will definitely score. That's my thought process. Also, as you guys saw with that defensive play there, I got green with Pena, getting that rhythm down. Not perfect, but I'm getting there. I also have Pete at first base, who's barely a gold. He might be able to scoop one out of the dirt, but this is going to be the year of a first baseman with higher defense. I don't think you're going to want to use anybody at first with lower than gold fielding, really, unless you have to, which is going to be great. It's going to be a very welcomed addition, especially now that you don't have to use first base as the first base last year and the years prior have, was the DH spot. Let's be real. Defense didn't matter because everyone was a god. Babe Ruth used his two boobies to knock the ball down all times. Frank Thomas was god. Now you have a DH spot, so you don't have to have a first baseman be a throwaway DH spot. They could actually be someone who can hit a little bit. Yeah, for sure, but also play really solid defense. You're going to want that bailout, right? What if you have a diving play and you get it in the yellow and it's a really pivotal play and all of a sudden your first baseman saves you? I also like to do bat sounds. I think it's more reflective of contact. I think you, you, you make really good contact, you know. I like it. It's not like a gunshot like previous years. Which was... Oh, God, I'm getting dice with Brian Reynolds. Which is good. I, I like the gunshot. It was cool. But, like, it's time we move on. You know what I mean? Keep it different. It is the year of the pitcher as it is now if, we have the, if this is the product we have. And it is absolutely the year of the skill gap. Right? which I love. Some of these players will be giving, a, giving me a much better game just based off of the idea that you could have everyone has giant PCIs, outer is broken, and you swing early. So many times these guys that I was playing were getting nowhere near the ball, but they were extending at bats because of these foul balls, and then they'd randomly run into one because they guessed right on whatever pitch they got, or eventually my guy was going to hang one. Now they're getting punched out before they get a chance to do that bullshit, and you're starting to see who's getting... You're, you're, these guys are getting exposed. These fringe World Series players, no disrespect, that don't belong in the same rating pool as some of the other guys that, we, that I run into, they're going to get knocked down. They're going to be Hall of Fame guys, which I like. This is the year of the true rating. Make it more rewarding. People aren't going to like it at first because everyone has an instinct to complain, but your rank's gonna actually mean something, man. You'll be able to track your progress this year, for sure. You want people to stay around and play your game longer and get more into it? Give us a reason to wanna get better. Give us a traceable progress, like a, a report card, basically. And give us fluctuating, interesting content that makes us use our brains. With like the captain boosts, now we have to build our team, which is a whole nother element, which I like. That's a beautiful swing. Saw that coming, waited back, squared up, and it didn't get caught. Knew that was coming. Jay Ramses, get that down. See, everyone's saying with the perfect game caught, man. That was a dot, and I hit a perfect, and it left. With Jay Ram's little, little PCI, man. Guys, I had an approach. What did I do? I knew he was going outside. He did it the last time to Jay Ram. He did it again. He's just throwing to righties first pitch outside almost every single time. I topped it a little bit, but the timing was good, right? That matters a lot, the most important, and he has a shift on. He starts off speed, usually lefties. Yep. I still chase, though. He ain't turning that. Get out of here. He might change it up now with a slider or something, but... Nope. Little off of it. It was a splitter. Thank God Payne's got that 125 clutch. I don't mind that swing, man. I don't mind that. I was a little off of it. Brian Reynolds also has a lower clutch rating. He's getting nerfed. Woo! 103! Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! That was gas. That was 103. See, now what do I have to do? Lower I have 94 clutch rating. This is not great against Randy Johnson. I have to kind of pick what pitch I'm looking for here. I'm looking for the heat, middle in. I have lightning rods on base. Oh, I know. Oh, Payne is on a base. I thought it was, it's, it's Pete Alonso, my bad. No, I was underneath it. I've also noticed vision really is mattering a lot in this tech test. Like the difference between hitting an outlier fastball with a guy with 75 vision as opposed to 125. 
is light years apart. Plus the foul ball with the 50% reduction reduction to outer PCI. You really want the George Bretts and the Tony Gwynns and the J Rams of the world, man, because you're going to start noticing that tiny little louder. Stop. Oh my God. <laughs> Um, I I was told that that's being looked at. That that's not supposed to be that bad. So, we'll see. Don't matter. We'll do it to him again. I am just ripping off 100 zero zeros. I, I also would like to see pitching get a little bit harder. I, I've said this before. It's just too easy. Um, hitting and fielding both got more difficult. They've increased the skill gap on that. Pitching is still way too easy. I can rip 100 zero zeros in my sleep. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's because like I'm, I'm some sort of god. I'm not. I'm saying it's that easy. Like it's just to learn. Once you learn it, it's riding a bike. It's so simple. Oh, gee. Am I, did I just get a nub little hit? I did. That hit makes sense. They're playing Babe Ruth at the wall, and I got skewered. It was a little pop up. It was just a hit, it was just a hit for placement. Um, also, this this is unrelated to MOB, but related to gaming. Something I've just discovered is that I was having a lot of issues with migraines, and I still do eye problems. I had to get glasses, all these things. Um, I've, I've just discovered that you should not play with your monitor at 100% brightness and a high contrast rating. It will kill your eyes. So lower your stuff if you can. There we go, Jay Ramses! I caught the mistake. Just early, a little underneath it. I like it. Pitch spot was a hanger. He's been incredible, man. Very little PCI movement you want with guys like Jay Ram, or just in general across the board this year. Um, and, and let your timing do the work, right? There we go, it's gone. Just late, but it's a middle, middle pitch. I have no problem with that. If just early is fine, just late is fine, as long as the pitch is middle to middle away to away. Two out rally, it's all it takes. Be a little disciplined, guys. Don't give up when you're down on the hole. And look, back to back homers. Don't try and immediately write off this feature. Oh, I've heard people come in my chat when I'm live or you know, in my comments. Oh, hitting's this. Oh, fielding meter's stupid, blah, blah, blah. Don't be me with pinpoint, guys. Just, just let it ride, man. PCI, the bat PCI is distracting. I think it's so ugly. That was me too. 20% kidding about how ugly it was, but I've gotten used to it. Look at that, rhythmic, perfect green. Slow chopper, read the read the rhythm of the ball, man. It's moving slow at you, the meter's gonna be slow. Just get used to these features, let it rock. Don't even question it, right? Just like for me with the bat PCI, I don't even question. Do I wanna go back to the old one? Man, it feels good to go back to the old one, man. I feel, I feel off, blah, blah, blah. Just put it on and don't even think about it. I'm gonna ruin this guy's day, dude. George Kirby is one of the least, he's a, one of the glitchiest guys in the game. If you guys have time to try him on the tech test, use George Kirby. He, he, they changed his, his like windup this year and it's absolutely unreal. That's another strike three that wasn't a strike. That was a middle middle pitch. What did I do? Underneath it, smashed it. Yep, good timing, nowhere a little off of it. That's usually a foul ball, I'm in 22 it is. They didn't bail me out this time, which is fine. I moved my PCI too far. Oh my God, Brian Reynolds, you need to get retired, bro. I don't know what happened to you, but I can't hit with you. Got it. Oh, didn't field it. Low fielding rating. This will happen, I guess. Is it Max Scherzer or Gold Glover? Or am I tripping? I don't want to pitch an outlier pitcher because it feels kind of cheesy. They're like, they're like really crazy. And oh my God. Double play. Boom, boom, boom. Up the middle. Topped it, but the good timing. No, I chased the middle. <laughs> Sinkers are still so close. 12Ks. Yeah, I mean, man, I've been absolutely carving in this tech test, bro. My pitching has been insane. My pitching is insane in 22. It's my best thing. P. I got the green. PFP. Dubs. Uh, my pitching is insane in 22, but it's going to be even better in 23 because now I don't have to be plagued by foul balls. That was a fast inning. Yeah, see, he's getting impatient, which is fine. I get it. I'm, I'm loving the pace of the game. The pace of the game feels so much better too, which I don't think they explicitly mentioned, right? That pace of the game was something they wanted to, to like really increase. I know they said it was dragging on games too long, but they didn't really say it was a main goal of theirs, but I think it is. You play more of the game's pace is increased. You're more likely to play ranked. Yeah, you don't want nothing to do with J-Ram. That's the ball. Not huge, but now I have a 125 clutch rating. That's my PCI as opposed to 118 contact. Uh, doesn't matter if you choke it like that, though. See, this guy had a great fielding game. He made no mistakes. He's chasing early. Just barely got green. 
This is what's going to happen, man, and I love it. The pace of the game is going to be great. If you play smart, you play well, you play very gritty, or you're just well, like, disciplined, you're going to have a great time in 23. You're going to find yourself winning games, but, but if you're impatient, or if you're a free swinger, or if you're a, a PCI masher, you're going to find yourself swinging and missing a lot, or popping out. He is just... I mean, this is just not fun for this guy. I'm sorry. His first batter of the game hit a double on a, hang, a hung pitch that I had. And since then, there's been no hits. Five pitch mixes are going to be nice, guys. Oh. His at-bats with Trey Turner were great, but damn. Six nothing shutout victory. One hitter. Played a game with Scherzer. 12 Ks. Oh, it was two hits. What did they hit? Trotty had a hit? What was the hit? I don't even remember. But look at this. This is everything I've seen out there every single game that I've loved. This is a lot more foul than normal for me, though. Six foul, but six. I only have 15, but six hits. Three were outs, six fouled. Very low number. He just didn't hit the ball well at all, man. Five of them were outs. Jesus. Two perfects. Two for two on perfects. He was 0 for 1. He did hit a perfect line out with Trouty. What a game, man. Dominant. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. It was a different video than usual. Style's a little different, but I want to talk to you guys more. Give a little bit of it, uh, insight while we head into 23. Love you guys, man. Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you next time. Peace.